And at this time, we'd like to ask some of our dignitaries to share a few words to our honorees and our guests. I'd like to bring up legislator Dewey Gregory. I apologize that I was a little late. I went to the wrong venue. <laughs> well, as always. And I'm calling my staff, and I'm trying to call Kimberly. Her phone is off, but we got it straight, so I'm here. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, usually I miss it because you have it on Mother's Day, and um, I wouldn't be much of a son if I didn't spend Mother's Day with my mother, so I apologize, but I'm glad to be here today. And Mary Reed is here, who's a friend of my mother. Hi, Mary, how are you? Um, as a grateful son, it's always a pleasure, um, and it's always the appropriate thing to do to recognize our mothers, particularly our single mothers, who do so much to make us children, uh, to nurture us, and to make us what we are. So I think it's totally appropriate that we honor all mothers um, today and every day, um, because they are really the backbone of our society. And as a strong man, I can say that, that my better half is my, is my wife, who is the mother of two children. And, um, and I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for my mother and her encouragement and nurture. Because I was a difficult child. And uh, <laughs> I heard you, Mary. I was a difficult child, and, uh, but I'm here today to, uh, to, to enjoy um, my mother's strength and, and knowledge and, and education. And, uh, and I'm sure that all the mothers here today, or the people here today, have experienced that in their own way with their own mothers. So congratulations to you all. Congratulations to the honorees. It's a pleasure to be joined here today with my colleague in, in uh, New York State government, uh, Senator Phil Ramos, who is a tremendous leader in his community and throughout New York State. It's always a pleasure to share an occasion with him. We don't get to see him much. He's He's upstate a lot and uh, fighting the good fight and uh, bringing back all the good things uh, that us as taxpayers and constituents want from our New York State government. And uh, he's a tremendous advocate. So it's, it's great to see you, Phil, and uh, his lovely girlfriend. Um, I think I've said all that I've said, and Kimberly's going to pull, pull me off. But again, it's a pleasure to be here. And thank you for inviting me. I want to bring up another dignitary, Assemblyman Phil Ramos, to share a few words. I'm here to celebrate Mother's Day uh, with Haitian Americans for Change. Uh, but first, I want to ask you something. Are you guys proud to be Haitian? Come on now, you're calling them a proud her heritage. Are you proud? Well, you have a lot to be proud of. You have a lot to be, because as we say in Spanish, you are amantes de la libertad. If anybody in the Caribbean, in Latin America, in this hemisphere, are loving the freedom, it is the Haitian people. Because nobody gave you the freedom, you took it. You stood up and said, this is who we are, and we're gonna create our lives here, and we're gonna build our own country. And you are the pride of all Latin America, of all Latin, uh, African Americans, because you affirmed your identity. And through that all, and throughout that rich history, it was the woman who was holding it down. It was the woman who was holding it down in adverse situations, immigrating at times to the United States or facing hardships in your country, and they were holding it down. And I'm glad to hear our keynote speaker talk about the virtues of the woman in general, and especially the Haitian woman, and the importance of education. And we have worked throughout the years uh, on programs and funded programs geared towards education for our young girls. Because, you know, it, you know, educating men is important, but we know it's a man's world, and that's important. But when you educate a woman, you are educating a family. And that is worthy of investments. Today, you know, I join you today, and it's a special day for me. I lost my mom uh, last July. Many of you knew her. She used to always come to events with me. Uh, and I'm here celebrating because I know she's here with me today. She's here with all of us. Um, she is my guiding light, uh, such as all the moms here are to their children. Uh, she's my guiding light, and she guides my hand in all I do. Uh, so God bless you, mom. God bless every mom that's here. And in my prayers, I will ask 
God to bless you. But in my heart, I know that you're already blessed. Thank you.